the ocean. It's home to hundreds of thousands of different species. Many are essential to our lives and culture or to our economies. If we hope to save our future, we should work together to save our oceans. The sea is a marvelous place. It's an important and treasured space for many of us. Maybe you go there to play or to work. Maybe you go there to relax or to journey and discover what's beneath the surface. Some persons use scuba gear to conduct research, while others use it to explore and to be amazed by all the different and beautiful animals that exist in this world under the waves. Regardless of your reason for going to the sea, it's undeniable that this place is a key resource that we must all learn to use wisely and to respect. Looking from above, the sea may just look empty to you, but the difference can be seen when you go under the surface. There you can find rich and textured ecosystem, shaved with personality and bustling with life. Like shoals of fish swimming amongst reefs, large predators resting on the ledges, or different species fluttering in the water column. And if you were to visit other areas, like seagrass and mangrove communities, you may find it teeming with juvenile animals, nursing and developing before they venture into the surrounding waters. And amongst the towering tree lines, you may find seabirds as they decorate the evening sky as they prepare to roost. However, not all areas of the ocean are so pristine. Globally, marine communities are facing threats, like land-based pollution, which invade and degrade living conditions in the sea. Solid waste debris and single-use plastics infect and kill thousands of animals. Trash and wasted goods are inconsiderately dumped on beaches, along roadways, and in wetlands. From large items to small ones, these objects pose threats to the ecosystem and the wildlife within. Chemical waste is also rampant. Transported through drains, rivers, and gullies, they cause stagnation, eutrophication, and algal blooms, which often kill young plants and animals before they've had a chance to grow. Overfish reefs are left abandoned only to be covered by algae. And boat damage from anchors and ship landings can wipe away decades worth of reef growth, leveling expanses and ruining habitats. We must remember that there's life just below the surface. And our actions have consequences. Thankfully, there are those that help to reduce the effects of these threats, working together to protect our beautiful world, like activists and volunteers that help by cleaning up the seas and the land. There are researchers that work tirelessly to monitor environments and create restoration programs, like artificial reefs, which provides a place for new corals to grow and habitats for animals. Distressed and stranded animals are saved and returned to the wild. 
Yes, the sea is a marvelous place, but it needs our collective help to preserve it. So there can still be a place for us to play, a place for us to catch fish, a place to explore and learn new things, and a place where we can go to dream of a hopeful future.